So when you have dormant leads, they're just not taking action. You've got to find a way to move those dormant leads to active leads that are inspired and invested in working with you. Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes of some of our best performing campaigns to talk about two surprising ways we trigger sales for dormant leads. You ready for this? Let's get started. Welcome to the Amplify Your Success podcast. Get ready to ramp up your revenue, amplify your impact, and make your mark in the world. This is the show for experts, thought leaders, and service professionals who want to shatter their limits and achieve that next level. You're going to find out from other experts and influencers how they made it. Now, let's get amplified. Hey there, inspired entrepreneurs and business leaders. I'm super excited for today's episode. It's Melanie Benson here, your authority amplifier. I gotta tell you, so many cool things are happening right now. It's almost like the summer ended and everybody turned the opportunity faucet on and whoosh, all kinds of cool stuff going on. Uh, here's a couple of things behind the scenes. We just rebranded the website. If you haven't taken a peek at my website lately, I'd love to hear your thoughts. MelanieBenson.com. We just opened the doors to my new VIP packages, already booked one, and we've got two more available for the fall. Super excited about that. So a little behind the scenes on today's episode, I was sharing some surprising ways we use common marketing techniques uncommonly. And we turn them into ways to trigger sales with dormant leads and people who kind of lurk around. And when I shared it with the Amplify Your Authority in a Circle, they were like, what? <laughs> I never even thought about that. And it was such great information for them. I thought I'd do a little highlight version and share it with the community here. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It is a time in which we've got to be inventive. We've got to rethink how we market. And honestly, a lot of buying behavior is changing. So when we can look at doing strategies differently so they work for our audience and share that with others, everybody wins. It's one of the reasons why I love the masterminding component of Amplify Your Authority Inner Circle. Now, if you are not yet a member and you've been thinking about it, I'm going to give you a little heads up. The prices go up in a few weeks for Amplify Your Authority Inner Circle. So I highly recommend that you hop on over to AmplifyInnerCircle.com and check it out. And let's see if that is the place that you're meant to expand and grow your reach, your authority, your influence, and your income this year. All right, let's get into today's episode. If you find that you're doing all the right things to get leads in the door and sales coming into your business <clears throat> and it's not working, then you're going to love uh, today's Amplify tip on surprising sales triggers. Hey, it's Melanie Benson here, and I wanted to jump in today and share with you something that I have been testing inside my own business, and I shared it last week on the Amplify Your Authority Inner Circle call, and they were like, oh my God, this was worth the entire <laughs> session today. Like, this was massive gold, and I thought, well, there might be other people who would get a lot of value out of learning these two sales triggers. So first of all, let me tell you what a sales trigger is, and then I'll share what these two uh, surprising ways to use them are, because traditionally people think these sales triggers are going to work a little differently than they than I found uh, we can use them. So a sales trigger is something where you um, take a traditional authority platform like a podcast, a webinar, an event, something of that nature, and it, it takes people who've been kind of hovering and they're dormant leads, meaning they've been on your list for a while or they're on social media, but they're not taking action. And the, um, the sales trigger gets them to raise their hand and say, I'm interested and move them from just being like a dormant, passive uh, person to being interested and invested in working with you. And I found that these two strategies I'm going to share with you today sometimes can work a little differently than most people think they should. And there's two reasons why I want to kind of dig into them. First of all, sometimes we need a perspective shift to get the gold out of a strategy, meaning the way we think we're supposed to have something work 
it might work a little differently, but you're so focused on it. Okay, it's got to work this way. You miss the gold. And secondly, uh, there is a uh, real um, like value to using these strategies in your business, even if you think they don't work for you. So our mindset around it is going to be key. So here's the first one, and it's a podcast. Now, having your own podcast is a strategy I'm a huge fan of. But most people go into it saying, how am I going to monetize it? How am I going to like have it pay for itself? How am I going to make sure it's getting like a million downloads, right? Well, what if having a podcast can actually bring you high ticket clients? And it's not about the number of downloads. It's not about the number of uh, people listening to it. It's about what you're producing on the podcast and how it can turn into your sales trigger. I'll give you an example of why I think this is so profoundly powerful. So I have a podcast for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is that I have discovered that my best clients who often will hear me somewhere else, speak on a stage or on another podcast, they come to my site, they see I have a podcast they binge listen to the Amplify Your Success podcast, meaning they listen to episode after episode. And then they're like, I'm in. And they schedule an Amplify audit and book uh, in immediately. And they've already been sold on working together on in a VIP package. So they're going to schedule a VIP day with me or they're going to uh, do like my six month package or get into mastermind or whatever the opportunity is, right? So the reason why this is such a valuable sales trigger is I think a lot of people are missing the point of the podcast. The podcast is another way to deliver content that builds the know, like, and trust factor. You're um, educating a client on the problems you solve and the successes you have in doing this. So it's a credibility booster and an educator that by the time they, that prospect gets to a phone call with you or is into the sales cycle that you have, they're already sold. So that's what I love about podcasts. It, I like to think of it, it's like a, it's the hidden potential in your podcast. And if you're not leveraging like that, it might require a little bit of re-strategizing. So I was just working with a client overseas who has a great podcast, a great theme, but he was feeling like it wasn't really producing results for him. And we shifted his strategy on his solo episodes so that it was more tied to what his ideal clients were struggling with and had a little more direct path to having them raise their hands and say, yes, I want to book his consult. The other thing about this is it is a valuable positioner. If you have a high ticket like VIP day or a high ticket offer of some kind, your podcast should be used as credibility stacking. We went through this in depth in Amplify Your Authority Inner Circle last month. And credibility stacking is huge. It's a big part of how you're going to find your angel clients uh, like maybe like lean into the benefit and the value you have to offer. So strategy number one that might surprise you is how you use your own podcast to build a relationship with a prospect before they ever get to you so that they've already decided on you and it's just about working out the details. Now, here's the second most important surprising technique and again, I'm using it a little differently than most people might consider it. And that is webinars. So you'll notice this week on Amplify Your Authority, sorry, on Amplify Your Success podcast. Uh, and if you're listening to this on the podcast that uh, last uh, last couple of weeks, we did an episode with John Schumacher on webinars. And webinars are a very powerful tool, but not all people are going to use a webinar the same way. And what I like to do is look at what moves somebody who's dormant on my list into action. And what surprised me, and might surprise you, and we might want to explore doing, this, doing it this way for you, is I found that sometimes my best clients don't, they sign up for the webinar, but they don't necessarily attend the webinar and buy from the webinar. The webinar acts as a sales trigger, and they will oftentimes pay attention to the follow-up. And I have a very specific way I follow up with them. And 
they will raise their hand and say, can I book an audit with you? Or can we talk about working together from the follow-up versus what happens on the actual webinar? This is why this is such a huge, important point for you. I believe if you have some kind of a service-based business or you have a, a product or you're building an online business with uh, like an offering funnel, so to speak, you need some kind of a webinar or a masterclass to move people out of that dormant, they're just reading emails or like maybe even not reading them and deleting them and getting them to take some kind of action. Because guess what? Half the time they're on their list and they don't actually know what you're going to do to solve the problem. So the webinar gets them out of the mystery stage of like, I like this person, but I don't know how they're going to solve my problem. I don't know what, I'm, I, there's nothing on my radar right now to saying, this is what we're going to do to solve your problem. And then they don't even have to attend the webinar to get into your stream if you have a great follow-up process. Was that a big aha moment? Have you already discovered that for yourself? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> so when you think about, are you using these two surprising sales triggers in your business? And if not, why? Uh, I'd love to hear, are you gonna put it into action? Or are you maybe needing some help? Uh, certainly raise your hand. Let me know if there's something you're like, Melanie, I'd love to apply this into my business. I just don't know how. Uh, we can certainly chat about that. Or you can check out uh, on the MelanieBenson.com for it says coaching page. You can check out uh, my VIP packages. I've just opened up a couple VIP days for the month. And uh, if one of them is yours, awesome. But most importantly, remember that sometimes the marketing strategies don't perform the way they're originally intended. And you want to get creative, you want to adapt, you want to look at the buying behavior of your ideal clients and replicate that over and over again. Don't get so attached to how many people show up for the webinar. Don't get so attached to how many downloads you're getting on your podcast. Don't get too upset about the number of Facebook uh, viewers on your Facebook lives. Look at how you're going to use that as a trigger to get people into action to raise their hand and figure out how to work with you. All right, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, for now, make a commitment, find your sales trigger, that or something better, put it into action. Be sure to come back to the Amplify Your Authority Facebook community and let me know what you're gonna do with it. Okay, can't wait to hear your big breakthroughs around this. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in today, Amplifier. Be sure to join us right now in the Amplify Your Authority community at authorityamplifiers.com and I'll share my seven proven tips to be a highly paid expert that stands out in a crowded market. Plus, we're gonna keep this conversation going and I wanna hear from you how you're going to amplify your authority and make a greater impact. Before you go, please take a minute to give our show and our guests some love over on your favorite podcasting platform. Subscribe, rate, and review. Leave your full name and I'll spotlight you and your authority on social media.